one of our five-part series on how we structure our programs, a workout, a session, whatever terminology you want to use for it, this is what a workout with us looks like, okay? So today you'll notice I have two tennis balls. You really can use any ball that bounces because today we're talking about the beginning portion of our workouts, the structure we do at the very start. What we're trying to get is coordination development, hand-eye coordination, catching skills, movement coordination of our footwork and our athletic skills development. So like knowing where the ball is while we're moving, knowing where our feet are while we're paying attention to other actions so that we become a better, more coordinated, more athletic athlete. That's the goal, all right? So what we start with is based on the needs of our kids, our athletes, but for the most part, we really like to do catching skills with tennis balls because smaller hands catch very easily. And we do like to use catching for a lot of things because, let's just be honest, catching is a skill that is required well into our 80s and 90s because you need to be able to grab stuff. So just spatial recognition is important. And it's also fun to catch things. All right, Remember, making it fun for kids is our goal so that they're entertained. Another reason we enjoy starting with this is a lot of our kids just got out of out of school, so they need that kind of unwinding moment, more of a where they can allow themselves to get mentally ready, all right? So we do a lot of catching skills, all right? So let's get started with those skills right now. All right, so you don't necessarily need tennis balls. You can use any object because you could do easy skills with like a volleyball or a soccer ball or a ball that doesn't necessarily bounce as well. You could even do skill drills with golf balls or racket balls. We've used them all. We just really prefer tennis balls. Today I do have two tennis balls, but you could do the skills with simply one tennis ball, okay? Because I'm just working on catching, okay? With one tennis ball. All right, so our first drill today is two tennis ball based and we're just doing a two ball bounce. Now, if I want to add a little bit more intensity, I add the step. It's not intense, but it is a little bit of a challenge. So I would start athletic ready. Remember, everything we do is based off of starting athletic ready. Level one would just be bounce. Easy bounce. Level two would be a stagger bounce, or bounce, stagger catch. We can do stagger bounce into same time catch, which essentially would be level three. So bounce, bounce, catch, same time, level three. Level two, to go back for a second, would be bounce, catch, catch, stagger, catch. A little bit easier than stagger bounce, okay? And then level four could be quick. Notice how I'm athletic ready. Okay, so four-part progression, just easy bounce, bounce, catch, catch, staggered bounce, speed bounce, okay? So all of those are easy enough to do and yet can be quickly become challenging for the athlete who gets to decide where they are as far as their progression is capability. Now, we usually do this with time one minute at a time is pretty good. A lot of times we do it for two minutes because the first few seconds are just kind of figuring it out. We aren't necessarily in a hurry to get done with it. If we had a little bit less time, just doing a drill for one minute would be fine, okay? But we usually do two minutes. Now remember, another challenge to add a lower body footwork component, athletic ready, bounce, step and catch, come back, bounce, step and catch. You can do side bounce, step, okay? All of those would be based around improving your balance, which is important. And remember, we don't want to misstep. Your good steps 
are correct steps, meaning not taking over steps or too many steps. All right, and all those drills can be done by adding step footwork. Simple and easy drills to do. Progressions capable, okay, or progressions allowable, and you progress how your kids are ready. Next, another challenging drill based off of two balls is just dribbles. The goal is to get as fast as you can, where once you start, you only have one ball in your hand at a time. You have to release the other ball before it comes up. Seems simple, actually can be very challenging for a lot of kids because the timing throws them off. And then you can do the same thing where you are stepping into it. You can walk, whoops, do an ink, challenging, okay? You can walk around, you can do different walking methods, backwards, forward, side, side, all while getting those upper body coordination. And remember, all we're trying to do is get our brain functioning on, out of thinking about school, basically, and start paying attention to task at hand, skill and sport demand, versus how did I do on my history test, right? And yes, it does require a switch, or it does require some practice to be in the moment, just like in a game, we're practicing that mental acuity, I think that's the right word, or mental focus to task at hand in the moment. Okay, so this is just dribbles. Okay. And then we can do dribbles with a pass. And that would be level two off of the dribble. Okay? So there's a secondary group of exercises and a progression. There's another progression off of that where you simply double pass. a little bit more hand-eye coordination and a little bit more hand speed, but all of those are two different groups that can be interchangeable with progressions. You can regress if you're not ready, meaning just slow it down, go back to one ball, but all of these are how we start our programs, our sessions, whether we add side steps, forward steps, quick steps or really more throwing speed goal oriented ball work. Everything is based on what the sport requires, but we do start our programs by getting our brain in tune and our hands and our feet warmed up and coordinated properly. So that's how we do things here. You guys can incorporate some function or form of what works best for you. That's simply how we do it. We find it works very well. It does improve your coordination. It does improve your athleticism and eye coordination and catching skills, very important in many sports. All right, I'm Spencer Aiken with Stronger Together Performance Academy.